Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. I come to play. This is a reaction to Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, a live performance. So that you guys know, I love this song already, but it's an interesting story. Of course, there are a few rock songs that either, this wasn't on Guitar Hero, this is just something that, but either I would know songs to Guitar Hero, or there'd be a few songs that my dad would actually play, even though we primarily, of course, listen to hip hop and R&B, where I'm from. This was one of those songs that we would play. Me and my dad would be looking at this on YouTube and everything when I was a teenager. Now, what was really interesting is that me and my dad refused to ever look at the lyrics of the song. We can't really tell what he's saying. Like, I can tell he says, load up on guns. And so pretty. Hello, hello. Ah, that shit fire. But I can't, I don't know the lyrics. And me and my dad thought it was fun to just kind of like never know the lyrics. Like, it's kind of a cool thing. Like, you know what? We never going to find out. But I'm going to break that today for all of you guys on the Try White Music Series. Going to watch Nirvana perform live for the first time. And I'm actually going to see what the lyrics are to Smells Like Teen Spirit. Hopefully, the lyrics don't like ruin it for me. To be fair, I feel like he can say anything and I'm going to love it because this song is so fucking good. It's such a vibe. All right, let's get into it. Smells Like Teen Spirit, Nirvana. <laughs> Damn, bro. Look at Kurt. Look at Kurt Cobain. With the uh, with the dope shirt, the the, the, the highlight is that considered highlights in this era? That sound kind of soft to say highlights, but you know the, the the iconic hairstyle and all that. He just looks fucking dope. <laughs> he's uh, uh, I maybe I'm I'm sure I learned this before, but he's the Kirk Cobain is their guitarist too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, whoever the fuck is the mastermind that thought to sw do that little switch up right there, that dun 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 dun, dun, dun that hype shit, and then to calm it down. But there was no way, like there was no way to predict that, like that switch up to do right there. Do do. Okay, can we say that this is one of the best hooks in music history? Point blank, period. This is one of the best hooks ever in any song, in any genre. I don't give a fuck. I did already know the. So you can hear the words to the lyrics. I already knew all the words to the lyrics as I'm hearing. I'm like, oh yeah, I already know. It. I can sing along to this to this goddamn hook. And but when he says, okay, yeah, he does mean that. When he said, uh, uh, a mulatto, uh, an albino. But what does he talk? Kurt Cobain. I love all the shit that you've done. Rest in peace. Like all the stuff I've heard so far. But what do you be talking about? I love it. But even the, okay, the beginning lyrics. I, Load up on guns. Bring your friends. It's fun to lose and to pretend. <laughs> ah, that's motherfucking cold. But what that mean? <laughs> I'm so, I'm confused. Load up on guns. Bring your friends. It's fun to lose and to pretend. She's overboard and self-assured. Oh no, I know a dirty word. Hello, 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 how low. I don't, but listen, who when you comment on this video, if you comment on this video right now, tell me what you think this song means. Let me know. I gotta see what y'all theories are. Or what have you heard through the grapevine? Come on. Cause I'd imagine Kirk Cobain never did an interview explaining what it means. It's kind of like leave it over for interpretation type thing, I'd imagine. He's fucking amazing though. 
This dude's fucking amazing. Even his energy, it's weird to explain. Like, even like seeing him perform, like even the energy, the vibe of it all is crazy. By the way, whoever that dude is with those cool, bright ass pants with a guitar or bass, whatever he has, he looks really fucking cool too. Those those pants is a bold choice and, and he making the bitches work. <laughs> Why do they just calm down like that? That's just so hard. Okay, that's verse two. One, by the way, this is fire. Look at that big old ass camera my man is holding right there, by the way. Damn, this is 1991. So I'm worse at what I do best. And for this gift, I feel blessed. That's fire. Our little group, it's always been and always will until the end. I noticed in his actual live performance, I feel like he said tribe. I feel like he said our little tribe. Let's go back a little bit instead of group, even though this is the lyrics I'm reading. <laughs> Bro, I wish this dude was still alive. I ain't gonna cap. This dude is special, man. Like, honestly, you know what he reminds me of? I remember seeing, like, like back when I was younger, right, in hip-hop, when I was younger, it was all about, like, when we, we was all trying to rap and whatnot, bro, growing up, we all trying to write the dopest bars because we were inspired by Lil Wayne and Cassidy and so on and so forth. Well, let me not shake my camera. But eventually, it changed and got more melodic, right? So this is where I'm going with Kurt Cobain. Now, what a lot of artists do, a lot of rappers, they're also, like, rappers slash singers. And they might go in a booth and they come up with a melody mm -mm. It, it, before they have any words. No, there's no words. Just let's say that in in this song, this uh, smelly teen spirit. That part is the genius, and of course the instrument stuff. But as far as the that is the genius as far as the 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 words part to me and what makes this song so fucking amazing the flow of that the melody of that and how his voice sounds with it at that point after you having the melody because if you have this if you're saying the greatest stuff in the world but then I, I i don't like the sound of it it's whatever this dude is a genius at melodies and i will argue that he's a genius from a lyricism standpoint too judging off of the other two songs that i have heard from uh from from them so far the other two songs that i did a reaction to so but yeah that i just had to point that out I'm so glad that it's paying the camera to this drummer. Brother, you are going crazy. I want to look into more about the science of like drumming and whatnot. And just like the, the art, I should say, of drumming, bro. Because I really don't be listening to the drums as much as I should. But I subconsciously, am, I know it's making me bop. But I don't pay attention because I'm paying attention to the, to the singer and to the, to the guitarist so much, bro. But I, like, I want to watch some point of view drumming and stuff like that, bro. And, and see how dope it is. I don't even think he's he's not even looking at the fucking drum. He's not even looking at the symbols and shit, right? He's not even looking over there. He's like this looking down, bro, and doing ah, That's fire. <laughs> Bro, 
I ain't going to lie. I just know Kurt Cobain got all the females back in the day. Let's keep it a buck. Straight up. I love my, my mysterious ass dude. A mysterious tall dude back in the day. White boy. What? And I forget just why I taste. Oh, yeah, I guess. It makes me smile. I found it hard. It's hard to find. That's fire as fuck, by the way. I like that. Uh... Oh, well, whatever, never mind. <laughs> this motherfucker in a different pocket. He had a different bag. He's in a different bag, bro. This, they are fucking amazing. Like, I need to knock out these um, Nirvana reactions because I find him so fascinating as an artist and as a human being. I find him extremely fascinating. Like, I want to know more about how his mind worked and everything like that, bro. So, but I don't want to waste not being able to do reaction on the on my, on my channel. So it's like I need to burn through these Nirvana reactions, bro. Because I need to. I want to listen to them on a regular basis. I like them a lot. <laughs> Come on! God damn! Shit! Yo! Banger! Listen, bro. As I told y'all, I already love Smells Like Teen Spirit. It just now I've actually seen him perform for the first time. And now I actually know what the lyrics are. And it's still as mysterious and, and whatnot as before I knew what the lyrics were. When I only knew the hook. Hey, man. I also feel like Kurt Cobain's voice. He doesn't. How can I explain it, bro? It's not like he's singing like that Maynard dude. or It, it just sounds amazing. Like even right there live, how, how clear the way he's projecting everything. It's not like he's hitting super crazy notes or doing like the super deep uh, growling stuff like that. Like uh, the dude from Pantera was doing on Cowboys from Hell. It's not like he's necessarily doing that. It's his own thing. But his voice is so distinct. It's, it, the, the melodies are genius. I love the drums on the goddamn song. The way that they go so hype and then just doom doom. Of course, I've seen a few rock, a lot of rock songs now that switch it up nicely. But the way they did it here was so fucking smooth. Even their vibe, like look, watching that live performance, they no 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 no. There was some super rock and roll shit, some super rock star shit, and then doom doom. Doom doom. Like they just switched to like these emo grungy motherfuckers. Even the demeanor of Kurt Cobain changed with that, which is all like a part of performance. You know what I mean? So I, I absolutely love it. This is one of the best songs ever made in any genre. One of the best songs I ever heard in my life of any genre. I don't give a fuck. And even watching that performance, bro, I would have loved to have been there. Of course, I wasn't born yet for this one. But like, I would have loved to have been there for something like that. And just seeing it, the live show excites me it makes me want to go see a show or something like of, of course of like some of some band like i want to it's crazy how much stuff that we miss out by being just stuck in our own cultures whoever you are watching this video even if you know whatever white motherfuckers that only listen to rock music whatever bro go try some other shit out i promise you there's some rap shit you like i'm sure there's some i ain't gonna lie to you i ain't gonna say i'm sure try to play it tough motherfucker i've been at korean barbecue and they play some k-pop that shit was fire it's not like some of it was kind of still in a lot of rap and hip-hop culture shit but it was sound of fire. There's probably stuff in every culture that's that's fire sale that we're not checking out that we will be adding to our lives to do so. So I'm definitely going to keep taking initiative with that, trying out different culture shit. And I need to go to some rock show because that right there looked like the dopest time ever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. There's been another episode of Tron White Music. Again, it's hard to monetize a lot of these videos. So make sure you guys check out the Patreon or become a member of the channel. Super thanks. Any of that stuff is greatly appreciated. But just you watching is amazing enough. Thank you for 75,000 subscribers. We are moving, baby. We are on the road to 100 motherfucking guy. God damn. 
I'm B Boy, Big Color with Raw TV, and we going, baby. See you guys on the next one. Oh, and which Nirvana song do you want? Uh, do you want me to check out next? Let me know. Peace.